All right, what's going on guys? It's Epoxy and here in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Oblivion Script Extender version 21 or 0021, whatever you would like to call it. It's the current stable version. We're going to be installing it a little bit differently than you probably have in the past or you've seen in other videos. And the reason for that is because we want to keep a clean data directory and we want to install the data folder through our mod manager. So to start off, you wanna to go to the link down in the description below, obse.silverlock.org, as you can see here, and it'll be the top link, the download link right here at the top of the page. You just wanna go ahead and click that, and it will save it to our downloads folder. And once it's downloaded, we just wanna go ahead and right click and extract all, and we can just extract it into a folder here, and then it should extract into its own separate folder and open up. Now, once we've got this open up, we wanna go ahead and find the Oblivion game directory. We can do so by opening up Steam, right clicking on Oblivion, going to properties, going to local files, browse local files, copy all of the files except for the SRC and the data folders, and drag them on over into this directory where the Oblivion and the Oblivion launcher are. Now that's the first step of the installation out of the way. Next up, we're gonna need a software called 7-Zip, which is a free piece of software that allows you to extract and compress archives, and it is essential for this. So once you've got 7-Zip installed, just go ahead and right click on the data folder, go to 7-Zip and add to data.7-Zip, and that will compress it into its own little archive. Now we can go ahead and rename it to something that is recognizable. So let's title it OBSE. And just for simplicity, we're gonna name it scripts. It's not necessarily scripts, it's more of an INI file, but just for simplicity's sake, we're gonna name it OBSE scripts. Now let's go ahead and open up our mod manager of choice and drag on over our OBSE scripts archive into our mod manager. And then we can go ahead and click install and it will go ahead and install the OBSE scripts and then we can go ahead and enable as well. And that is everything you have to do to install OBSE for Oblivion. If you guys found this video useful, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to Join the Good Fights if you haven't already. It would be super greatly appreciated as always. But anyways, guys, until next time, this is Epoxy signing off. <laughs>